All right, I believe you were able to complete your first task or first challenge, how to print your name, email and address. Let me do that as well if you have not done that. So probably you'll get the idea how I'm going to do that. So first of all, you can create a new file here. For an example, I can create test2.c and then I can copy and paste everything from here to that file. Well, I can do that. But next time I'm not going to create any new file, I'll just continue here. I'll be adding new things, I'll be removing from here. But you can always create new file and you can keep the copy of your code that you are doing there. Right, so let me remove this test2.c, that's not my uh, intention here. I just wanted to show you that you can create new file and you can run that file. There's nothing wrong with that. But I'll be saving my time and I'll be doing everything here in one file. But I would recommend you to create new files and put your code there so that later on you can come back to different different file and you can check what you have done there. All right. So the task was uh, that you have to print your name, email and your address. So first of all, I have this printf thing. So this is our basic structure. I will recommend you to try creating the basic structure every time so that you'll get used to with the basic structure and your typing surely will get much, much faster. So first of all, I will do this. I will create the basic structure again just to show you how I'm doing my things. So this is the main function and I will have return zero in the end. Now, this is something we already understood. Here, our task is to print something. In order to print something, we need the help of print a function. And inside here, first of all, I'm going to print my name. That was the task, printing the name. And then I'm going to print my email address here. So let me do that. And I'm going to use a fake email address here. It doesn't matter. And then there you go, yahoo.co.co.uk. And the last thing that I want to do, I want to print my address here. So let's put my address, let's say Morning Ton Avenue. All right, there you go. That's all for now. And now I can run this program. Remember, if you add more space, doesn't matter. But if you add space inside the printf, of course, that matters. So I will keep just like this. Let me show you one thing. If I don't keep any space between 11 and M, then what happened? Let's see. I'm going to run this program again just to see what happened. So let's run it. You can run it. Of course, you know already how to run it. So in this case, what you can do, you can just click here and run it. Let me do that for you. And now you can see something is happening. This is the print of things is doing. Anisul Islam. And then you can see there is no space between uh, the email address and same goes here after 11 you don't see any space between m and 11 so if i add a space here then it will print that space for sure let me show you that so i'm going to run again here and now you will see there is a space between 11 and m you can see it clearly but still the output doesn't look like that much good right so we wanted such a way that after printing on isol islam the name then it's going to print something in new line. This text will be in a new line. And after printing this one, I was expecting this one will be printed in a new line. Now, how you're going to do that? Let's see that.